All right, Shalom, this is a brother Lamal Yala out of GMS ATL, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, also giving double honors uh, to the elders and the apostles, and Shalom to all I came out pushing out this truth and sincerity. All right, uh, this video is um, basically just going to be centered around um, the RFID microchip um, <clears throat> and a personal testimony that I had with it. Um, but I just wanted to go into uh, I got to thinking uh, that that um, well, first of all, my my chip on my RF on my um, debit card, the chip on my debit card, um, it malfunctioned. Um, so you know, whenever I would go into the store and and try to buy something, you know, they say enter the chip, and it would say you know chip read error or chip malfunction or you know whatever it would pop up and um, um you know so I'll be like you know my the chips not working so you know I try to swipe or whatever and, and you know the little thing goes eh, 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 you know it does that little noise and um so you know I kept trying or whatever and then uh one of the the, the uh the guy tried to help me, you know, uh, troubleshoot the issue or whatever, and you know, try to get it to work or whatever. Um, but you know, it, it wouldn't work. I, I I wasn't able to pay for it, pay for my um, pay for pay for um, you know, whatever it was, my goods. Um, you know, without uh, I wasn't able to pay for it. Um that day, you know, he, he was like, he, the guy behind the counter, he was basically like, um, <clears throat> he was like, do you have any other form of payment, like, a, like cash or, um, or, uh, or another card, you know, um, and I was like, nah, I don't, you know, so I, I really just wound up walking out the store, and, um, you know, actually, you know, it was over the weekend, so the bank was closed, um, today is, um, this, this past day was Monday. So, um, you know, that was when I was able to go, when I was able to get to the bank, but I was just thinking in my head, like, damn, like, what if, you know, what if I didn't have, um, you know, cash or, I mean, which I didn't have much cash on me, but, you know, in the event that I don't have cash or, um, or I'm able to, or, you know, I have another, another card, another form of payment, you know, what am I supposed to do? You know, cause you know, that's my only form of payment really besides cash, my debit card. So it just, you know, it just got me to thinking, um, that, you know, when this RFID, I mean, really, really number one, the chip is already here, okay? Um, and the reason I say that is because now you can't even swipe anymore. They made it to where, you know, they're 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 getting you away from from swiping your card. That's no longer a thing, right? All right, um, which you know is basically the same thing because it's coming. It's still it's the same form of payment because it's coming off of your card but they've they've added this extra step it's like it's like debit card 2.0 now where they've got this chip and if you don't have the chip you know then then you can't basically you can't pay for so so basically the you know the market of beast really is here on a, on just on a minor scale you know because esau's next step is to obviously you know put it in your hand or forehead all right uh which i'll i'll go ahead and read that um, Revelations 13 and 16 and it says and he causes all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark which that word mark there all right is karagma uh, which means uh, to cut an incision all right um, in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell all right. See, so as you see the story that I that I just told, you know, I wasn't I wasn't able to 
to buy. You know, I, I wasn't able I wasn't able to buy my goods. You know, and you know, another thing that I made me realize is, yo, like you know, it it, it kind of it, it was it was like a warm up. <laughs> it was like a test run um, for for when. Uh, it it really just kind of felt like a like a like a prelude to to when, um, you know when Lord willing I refused the chip, okay, all right. So it it kind of made me think like damn like this how it's gonna be, you know Lord you know when I refuse the chip, all right this this is this is the scenario I would go through, you know they're gonna be like well you don't have you don't you know do. Because well, really, in that day, they're not going to accept any other form of payment, which that's basically what the guy told me. He was like, I mean, um, you know, I didn't have cash. So really, you know, I couldn't couldn't pay with that. You know, the, the so-called chip card was my only form of payment at the time. And that was malfunctioning. All right. And it says in uh, 17 that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So Esau knows what he's doing, man. All right. He, he, he's pushing this thing, um, on, on, uh, on a, you know, on a minor scale, you know, he's, he's put, put it a step above by putting the, you know, he, he did a, did a step up from, from the debit card. You know, one one step up from the debit card by adding a little chip to it, but you know now it's got it got it to where all the machines, you know, you can you can no longer, um, you know, all all the machines, you know, if, if your card contains a chip, all right, then then you can't swipe. Now, at some stores you can swipe, like you go in stores like Kroger, um, you know. I was still able to swipe, but you would actually have to insert the the card like three times, insert the um, the chip in, on the card like three times, and then it'll give you an option. Um, do you want to swipe? You know, it'll say swipe, please, or whatever. So the you know the um, payment system, you know, it did let that particular payment system did let me swipe but there were other other places that I went to like gas stations or whatever you know I wasn't able to um I wasn't able to swipe you know I was I was basically SOL so and it also made me realize like well damn like what if I was just like stranded somewhere and I ain't had no cash you know the chip just malfunctioned out of nowhere like it's just, it was it really was crazy how it happened because you know, my car was working just fine, and then one day, the chip just malfunctioned, just out of nowhere. I mean, I've 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 had this happen before, um, because I I I used to work at a pool, and um, I had a uh, the the car basically the car got wet, so um, when when the car got wet. It you know obviously the chip malfunctioned, um, but this time this particular time which is the second time that it happened to me, um, it just just stopped, just malfunctioned. Um, so, and one more thing that it made me realize as well is that when this chip is embedded in the skin, okay, it can malfunction. See what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, Esau, either, you know, everything Esau does isn't perfect. So there's going to be a whole bunch of, you know, all types of, you know, when Esau pushes this thing out, it's going to be all types of fuckery going on and, and just malfunctions and just people not having, you know, no money. So, you know, you're better off with the, I mean, I'm sorry, it's like you worse, you're, you're basically, you'll basically be worse off with the chip than without, you know what I mean? Um, but 
uh, you know, also, also, um, also, you know, the, uh, the chips, um, I heard that the, the frequencies can like burn your hand. All right. It can, it can like burn, um, like send, I mean, basically anything that you implant in your body is going to interfere with your body's, um, mechanics. Okay. Your, 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 uh, your body's functions. Okay. And that's, that's where Esau is going at with his artificial technology and, and, um, uh, what do you, transhumanism, right? That's, that's where he's going with that. Okay. Um, but all these things that 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 he's trying to do, um, you know, all these biological advancements, um, all these things he's trying to do, you know, it's basically gonna interfere. It's basically death because it's interfering with the way, with the natural way the Most High uh, set set up the human body and 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 life. Okay. So this is Revelation twelve and twelve. And it says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Okay, woe to the inhabitant and to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Right? Uh, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Okay? So, you know, right, right now in this time, uh, you know, the devil was basically roaming about and, and um, you know, so-called white man, and the, the devil, all right, he, he's basically trying to, um, you know, fulfill fulfill his, his, his new world order, or right, his wicked new, new world order, right? So, um, you know, as, as I said before, you know, uh, the, the, these chips can, can easily malfunction. Okay. All right. Um, also when I, when I looked up, when I looked up, uh, the RFID, like information on RFID's malfunctioning, I also found out that, um, slack so out. I also found out that, that, they're they're actually chipping a lot of people a lot a lot of people have RFIDs without consent all right because um you know the, the um basically the medical industry they're 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 secretly chipping people all right um covertly chipping people um through vaccinations you know flu shots or uh, or surgeries you know they're they're actually chipping people, all right. Um, by by, uh, you know, in, in in deceit, okay. All right. So um, you know, these are these are the things to 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 be aware of, okay. Um, that that Satan is gonna come with, okay. But um, but. You know that's just one thing to consider is is that you know once once you know once the RFID chip is is the only form of payment, okay, um, you know you're not gonna be able to do nothing, okay, uh, you know you're not gonna be able to travel, you're not gonna be able to eat, or um, or or anything, you know, but through the Spirit of the Lord, you know He's elect, He will provide for. All right. Um, but uh, but it was vexing as hell that that you know when the when the chip card was when the chip card was malfunctioning, all right, um, that I wasn't able to I wasn't able to um, purchase anything, you know, and, and I basically had to wait till the till the bank opened to 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 for them to issue me me a new card, but you know it's basically bullshit that that you know that that's 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 what it's becoming where the chip ultimately you know one all they do has all they have to do is collapse the dollar and then it's chip time it's basically chip time because they're just going to do away with cards 
and it's just gonna be about you know the RFID microchip okay so that's pretty much it on that Lord willing uh, brothers were edified um, through my testimony and all praises to you how about you shalom